Hello guys so today we are going to discuss project quality management project quality management is one of the 10 knowledge areas of project management framework and this knowledge area is exclusively dedicated to control and manage the quality of the project so first we need to understand what is project quality ISO defines quality as the degree to which a set of inherent characteristics fulfills the requirements or quality is simply what the customer or stakeholder needs from the project deliverables. This is also known as fit for use, means a product can be used as it was intended. Now, what is project quality management? Project quality management includes processes and activities of performing organization that determines quality policies, objectives and responsibilities so that the project will satisfy the needs for what it was undertaken. Now, as the project manager, there are three key project quality management concepts that will help you to deliver a high quality project. First is customer satisfaction. It is a key measure of project's quality and it's important to keep in mind that project quality management is concerned with both the product of the project and the management of the project. So, if the customer doesn't feel the product produced by the project meets their needs or if the way the project was run didn't meet their expectation, then the customer is very likely to consider that the project quality is poor. So, managing customer expectations is also a critical activity that you need to handle well for your project to succeed. Second is prevention over inspection. As we all know that quality doesn't come free. So the cost of quality that is CO2 is the money spent dealing with issues during the project and then after the project to fix any failures. These are broken up into two categories that is cost of conformance and cost of non-conformance. Cost of conformance includes preventive cost and cost of non-conformance includes internal failure cost. So, quality is achieved by planning, designing and building it into a product who processes from the inception. And the last is continuous improvement. It is a concept that exists in all of the major quality management approaches such as Six Sigma and Total Quality Management. In fact, it is a key aspect of the last concept that is prevention over inspection. So, continuous improvement includes plan, do, check, add. These all are the actions that they perform during improvement. Now, project quality management processes includes plan quality management, performing quality assurance, and performing quality control. In plan quality management, it is a process of identifying quality requirements and standards for the project and its deliverables and documenting how the project will demonstrate compliance with relevant quality requirements. And the key benefit of this process is that it provides guidance and direction on how quality will be managed and validated throughout the project. Then in quality assurance, it is a process of auditing the quality requirements and results from quality control measurements to ensure the appropriate quality standards and operational definitions are used. And the key benefit of this process is that it facilitates the improvement of project quality management processes. And in quality control, it is a process of monitoring and recording results of executing the quality activities to assess performance and recommend necessary changes. And the key benefit of this process is to identify the causes of poor quality and validating the project deliverables and work meet the requirements. So there are seven basic tools of quality that help in performing quality control. First is cause and effect diagram, also known as fishbone or Ishikawa diagram. This tool helps you to explore the causes that might be producing the problem 
and it is very important you to know that the real cause of the problem before you start thinking any possible solution the fishbone diagram gives you a comprehensive list of possible causes to identify the root cause of the problem so here in this diagram the root cause of the problem is user cannot get into the system and the possible causes are training system hardware software and user hardware now second is flow chart flow chart help you to analyze how problems occur and how processes can be improved flow chart shows activities decision points and the order of how information is processed third is chat sheet a chat sheet is also used to collect and analyze data and it is sometimes called a tally sheet or chat list depending on its format fourth is control chart also in control chart there is a central line called the mean or goal which is surrounded by another line called limit and these lines are upper limit and lower limit these lines are again surrounded by two another lines known as upper specification limit and lower specification limit and this upper and lower specification limit are provided in contract and you can not cross them this is your final limit then fifth is pareto chart a pareto chart is a histogram that can help you to identify and prioritize problem to be solved pareto analysis is also called 80 20 rules means 80% of the problems are often due to 20% of the causes and the sixth is histogram a histogram is a bar graph that shows frequency data and each bar represent an attribute or characteristics of the problem or situation and the height of the bar represent its frequencies and the last is the state diagram the state diagram in project quality management uses two variables one called independent variable which is an input and another called dependent variable which is an output the state diagram displays the relationship between these two elements as point on graph so at the end i conclude this topic that is project quality management ensures that the project will satisfy the needs for what it was undertaken and the main processes includes plan quality perform quality assurance and perform quality control so this is all about project quality management thank you